Dichlorodifluoromethane, R12, is a colorless gas usually sold under the brand name Freon-12, and a chlorofluorocarbon halomethane, CFC, used as a refrigerant and aerosol spray propellant. Complying with the Montreal Protocol, its manufacture was banned in developed countries, non-Article 5 countries, in 1996, and developing countries, Article 5 countries, in 2010 due to concerns about its damaging impact to the ozone layer. Its only allowed usage is as fire retardant in submarines and aircraft. It is soluble in many organic solvents. Dichlorodifluoromethane was one of the original propellants for silly string. R12 cylinders are colored white. Preparation It can be prepared by reacting carbon tetrachloride with hydrogen fluoride in the presence of a catalytic amount of antimony pentachloride. Carbon tetrachloride plus 2HF carbon D chloride F2 plus 2HCl This reaction can also produce trichlorofluoromethane, carbon trichloride F, chlorotrifluoromethane, CCLF3, and tetrafluoromethane, CF4. History Charles Boss Kettering, Vice President of General Motors Research Corporation, was seeking a refrigerant replacement that would be colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic, and non-flammable. He assembled a team that included Thomas Midgley Jr., Albert Leon Henney, and Robert McNary. From 1930 to 1935, they developed dichlorodifluoromethane, carbon D-chloride F2 or R12, trichlorofluoromethane, carbon trichloride F or R11, chlorodifluoromethane, CHCLF2 or R22, trichlorotrifluoroethane, carbon D-chloride FCCLF2 or R113, and dichlorotetrafluoroethane, CCLF2, CCLF2 or R114, through kinetic chemicals, which was a joint venture between DuPont and General Motors. Use as an aerosol The use of chlorofluorocarbons as aerosols in medicine, such as USP-approved salbutamol, has been phased out by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. A different propellant known as hydrofluoroalkane, or HFA, which is not known to harm the environment, was chosen to replace it. Retrofitting R12 was used in most refrigeration and vehicle air conditioning applications prior to 1994 before being replaced by 1,1,1,2-tetrafluoroethane, R134A, which has an insignificant ozone depletion potential. Automobile manufacturers started using R134A instead of R12 in 1992-1994. When older units leak or require repair involving removal of the refrigerant, retrofitment to a refrigerant other than R12 most commonly R134A is required in some jurisdictions. The United States does not require automobile owners to retrofit their systems, however, taxes on ozone-depleting chemicals coupled with the relative scarcity of the original refrigerants on the open market make retrofitting the only economical option. Retrofitment requires system flush and a new filter, dryer or accumulator, and may also involve the installation of new seals and or hoses made of materials compatible with the refrigerant being installed. Mineral oil used with R12 is not compatible with R134A. Some oils designed for conversion to R134A are advertised as compatible with residual R12 mineral oil. Gallery References External links NOAA – ESRL CFC-12 Global Measurements International Chemical Safety Card 0048 Overview of Freon-12 and some of its environmental problems MSDS at Oxford University Thermochemistry data at Chemnet. RU IR absorption spectra CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards